Bullet to the Head starred Sylvester Stallone, Jason Momoa, Sung Kang, Christian Slater, and Sarah Sarai. Sarai? I probably butchered that. Um, and it came out in 2013. It was directed by Walter Hill, who did uh, films like uh, Red Heat with Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day. Um, so yeah, this is one I've meant to watch for a while, but I was sort of like, you know, checking off earlier films before I get to some of the more recent stuff, you know, so that's been like my weird, you know, process of this, um, but yeah, it's uh, basically a, you know, throwback, you know, action thriller, and, uh, you know, it's essentially about Stallone, who's like a career criminal, you know, taking certain, you know, more than great jobs, but he sort of develops his own code as well, um, he's at a distance with his uh, daughter, um, who's a, you know, tattoo artist, um, and then you have uh, Song Kang's character, of course, from Fast and Furious movies, who is a cop and they have crossing paths, but they end up working together towards a common goal. Um, so yeah, that tension between, like, you know, a criminal, you know, kind of goes by his own, you know, code, right, and, uh, you know, justice, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this is one I've heard, you know, decent things about, some people more mixed up than others, but I overall quite liked it. Uh, you don't know what it feels like for today's standards. This feels like the scale and like the budget of like a direct-to-video movie. You know, I won't lie, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because there are a lot of like action movies nowadays that are over budgeted. You know, like over, you know, way inflated. Like uh, you know, The Gray Man was like two hundred million dollars, and uh, you know, I can tell you right here, this this one is like more uh, interesting and uh, intense than just about any of that. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, Sly, of course, does well in this sort of role. You know, he does it in his sleep. He treated it with some, you know, like a charm and personality, though. Um, Jason Momo, of course, this is a little bit earlier into, you know, his rise to success. But, you know, he provides, like, a great, you know, physical opposition for Stallone. Um, you know, and he sort of has his own issues with his, you know, you know basically contractors as well. Um, apparently, Thomas Jane was originally going to be in uh, Soon Kang's role, which is interesting. I think that would have... Honestly, given him and uh, Stallone a better rapport with those characters, um, but I guess they chose Stone King because they wanted to appeal to like other markets in the world a little bit more or something. I, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, so Kang was fine. Um, he's just not really a screen grabber for me. So I think Thomas Jane, sort of being that uh, cop cop, would have worked a bit better. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of you know solid hitting fight scenes. You know, it's shot well enough. And, uh, you know, me and potato, me and potatoes film, like I said, with plane recently, but I think we need more of those and, uh, you know, people need to support them when they do come out into, uh, you know, theatrical runs like this. So it's too bad this didn't do better, but I, for one, really, really liked it.